Hi everyone, Annalisa Burgos here. I'm a longtime member of AHA and a former board member. I wanted to kind of share the steps that I take to planning my convention experience because for one, it can be totally overwhelming. There's so many things to do, uh, so many interesting workshops and sessions. You're trying to see friends, you're trying to make contacts, as well as talk to recruiters. Of course, you have to try to fit in your social life in there too. So in order to get all that done in the span of four days, it's a good idea to come prepared or at least have a roadmap for what you plan to do at the convention. So what I do is I go ahead and check out the convention schedule online. Once you're there, you'll see the different workshop displayed in a kind of bar format. I'm not really a fan of that, so what I do is I click on the print icon on the right and it pulls up a new window which uh, has it in this kind of uh, long form format with the titles of the workshops, the speakers. Uh, if you click on the detailed version tab, um, you'll get the actual descriptions of the workshop. So that's what I look at. I print this out and I go ahead and go through and read each one, see what's being offered, and I add them to my iCalendar so that they're in my iPhone. I am a <clears throat> broadcast journalist uh, that focuses on video, so I have to go to the one about how to make it to the network because I do want to take my career to the next level and all the big wigs are going to be there so I'm going to definitely drop by there. I am very interested in the data journalism workshops. Uh, you know, I've used data to track content performance and develop strategy but I haven't really done a lot of storytelling through data and I'm very interested to hear uh, about how people go about creating those interesting compelling infographics. Uh, Web Scraping 101 sounded interesting just from the title alone. I haven't actually done that on my own, so I thought I'd hit that up. Uh, for sure, I have to go to the membership meeting, and I suggest a lot of you go to the membership meeting as well because it's a great time to see your fellow AJ members and hear what's going on with the organization and, really, and also really celebrate and acknowledge the achievements of individual chapters and individual member leaders and I think that's pretty awesome. I do have to make time to see all my good friends that I've made over the years as well as my ELP 2010 classmates. Woo -woo! And if you find that you can't stick to your schedule, it's okay. It's meant to be a road map. It's meant to, you know, help you be prepared. But you'll find that some of the most interesting conversations and some of the cool things you'll learn happen outside of the sessions. So that's my tip. Hope you have a great time and enjoy the convention. Hope to see you there.